Hello everyone! You're going to learn about OpenShift virtualization in this video series. In this section particularly, you're going to learn about infrastructure and storage setup for OpenShift virtualization. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's explore infrastructure setup for OpenShift virtualization. We'll take a look at the node, which is where our OpenShift virtualization pods are running on and other things. We'll take a look at the storage, which is using OpenShift container storage using Nuba. And here you see different master node, worker node, and infrastructure node. Some of the nodes are going to be using for storage purpose or store. And but worker node is essentially what we need to make sure to have enough capability and storage. And this node are provisioned on Azure, Azure, v, Azure Cloud. And then we are using nested virtualization, but is, it is highly recommended to use a bare metal. So let's take a look at quick look at the machines and here's the machine set. But really when we go to node, um, we want to make sure that, so by default, when the VM get provisioned to OpenShift virtualization is as randomly assigned to worker node. But we can also use node selector affinity and anti-affinity and taint and toleration to assign VM to specific node. So that's a, that is a possibility. Next, we're going to take a look at the storage part, which is using OpenShift container storage, which is OCS. Here's our Nuba interface, which is manages different kinds of storage required for OpenShift virtualization. We are using Ceph, which is the um, block storage, and, but I'm logging into administrator. So let's explore some of the uh, storage setup for OpenShift virtualization and Cray, which is image registry we are going to use for OpenShift virtualization. So here, we when you scroll, you see the resource and bucket. Let's go take a look at the bucket. So OpenShift virtualization works by pulling the images from Quay registry, although we can use it uh, something else. But we already installed Quay and pushed some images there, virtual machine ISO images. So you see the bucket is assigned for Quay Enterprise. So here you see a number of different things, but why you're going to take a why you are interested in in the object? So as the image get pushed to Quay you see that there's data getting shown up here. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video about OpenShift virtualization series. By watching this video, hopefully you have a better understanding how OpenShift virtualization work. Be sure to check out other video to understand better about OpenShift virtualization and see you next time. Bye bye.